Man, homelessness is really getting out of control. Why do you say that? Ugh, the government has to do something. What if the something they have to do is not do the things that already aren't working? Hmm? Yeah, that's right. No, I actually don't understand. Could you word that differently? What they're doing now isn't working. Oh. Well, that's not shocking to hear you say. It shouldn't be. Look at California. Their government spends almost $4.4 billion a year combating homelessness. And yet, they have the largest homeless population in the country. Reports estimate over 170,000 people. That's nearly $26,000 per person per year. And the best they seem to be able to do is create fenced-in camps for more homeless people. Okay, that's not great, but what are they doing wrong? They're not addressing the root of the problem. The high cost of housing? I was gonna say mental illness and substance abuse, but the high cost of housing plays a huge role too. And California's strict land use restrictions make it insanely expensive to build new homes across the state. According to QuaintGov, California imposes 88,186 restrictions on businesses and residents related to housing, seven times more than those in New York. Yeah, but doesn't California have way more natural disasters? Think about all the shaking stuff that happens there. California has 19 times more building restrictions than Washington State, a place with similar natural disasters. The problem is a lot of influential Californians want to keep property values high and don't actually like low-income housing in their neighborhoods, in spite of claiming to care when the cameras are rolling. Reducing those restrictions won't totally solve the problem, but freeing the market so that housing can actually become affordable again would certainly help. I like free things! Me too. Get out of my house! Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, and to learn more, go to fee.org. Thank you.